Yo, what's good guys? It's the Sly Crow and we back with No West for the Wicked. And so they've actually dropped a new update here since the last Friday, which is the new Crucible rework. And I would say they, they've done such a really well done job here. Um, it's like they took a page out of the book from Hades, you know, uh, a game from Super Giants. And Hades 2 just dropped recently as well. But you know, when it comes to the world like mode, they 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 definitely done a really good job here, I would say. And if the dungeons are really well detailed and the the OST that drops, you know, during the fights are definitely pretty epic. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys my build over here. So we're going with the one-handed spear. This is the Aztec Eye weapon. You can actually get this from the vendor. Um, so it, you know. Um, every now and then check check the vendor they may have a scroll for the Asagai and the blueprint how to, how to make it um, I'm also, I also have the agility ring and the rune ring which boosts the overall uh, rune attack damage um, This weapon actually comes with a really good rune attack. It's like a full spin pretty pretty large AOE spin attack and I think this will be pretty good in uh, in this uh, roguelike mode over here. Uh, one thing I would suggest you guys to do is craft a lot of uh, food because you're definitely going to need it in in this uh, roguelike adventure. Um, you can actually visit the uh, the chef at your local town at Sacramont, and uh, I would definitely recommend to buy a lot of berries. And this is going to give you some some additional backup food. Alright, so let's uh, start at one over here. Big boy, but the. Uh... Dang, I did love that. that moon attack does is, is absolutely crazy the fire fire damage on the moon attack Ooh, got another big boy over here
is gonna be a So this is an interesting uh, thing that, that they've added to the Crucible. Uh, so you get boon effects similar to Hades. You get the special boon effects. Uh, we got healing effects increased by 20%. I actually never really take that one. We do have second win. Skip directly to the Limbus. So this is a vendor that they've added to this mode. Um, so you actually spend your points to uh, you can actually unlock Exalted gear. But to unlock Exalted gear, you need to reach 30 points of this uh, resource. So that's something to uh, to work, uh, something to for you to grind yourself for. And uh, exalted equipment actually enhances the enchantments that you already have on your weapons. So that, that also uh, works in that favor as well. Don't you like them? Alright, let me get another crack at this, but yeah, this is definitely, you know, very hard mode.
stamina regen increase. Nice. So let's see, I'm going to use my poise uh, there. Attack upgrade by 10%. That's actually pretty huge. Alright, let me get my, uh, my poise, poise upgrade.
Let's see what we got here. Nice, max, maximum health, second round. It's gonna actually help me here, so now we're fast because of the bait. It's pretty good. Junk hard, bro. Hey, listen, man. This is a pretty tough rogue leg, but I you know, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And uh, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you checked out this update or plan to check out this update. And uh, you know, follow follow the channel if you like to know more about the any new updates for No West for Wicked. Catch you on the next one. Peace.